so today we are going to talk about the properties of ellipse through an activity with this small model so let's first understand what is an ellipse an ellipse is a diagram which has a locus like this represented here the longer length of the axis is called as the major axis of the ellipse and the shorter length of the axis is called as minor axis of the ellipse an ellipse has two foci uh, one, uh, the both of the foci are located at equal distance from the center of intersection of both the axes so the coordinates of foci are marked as c which is equal to a times it eccentricity so let us first understand what is a and b so the half length of the major axis from center to the vertex one is called as a length a so the coordinate here becomes a0 and the coordinate and that side becomes minus a0 similarly half length of minor axis is termed as b so the coordinate here becomes 0b and the coordinate here becomes 0 comma minus b the length of major axis therefore is 2a and length of minor axis is therefore 2b the equation general equation of ellipse is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 when a is greater than b the ellipse looks like this the major axis is the x axis but when b is greater than a the major axis is the y axis and the ellipse look like this uh, in the graph paper so we will talk about this property of ellipse in which if we could choose any point in the locus of the ellipse and draw line segments to the foci two foci of the ellipse the sum of these line segments always remain constant so i will try to illustrate here with this activity here so usually we have all have played carom in our homes so this is also a type of a carom board with a hole there in the one foci of the one focus of the ellipse and at the second focus we will place a striker so when the striker hits wall of any of the wall of this ellipse it will always go near it or get inside to it because since natural conditions are not always perfect we will have to practice it a little bit so i try it here so we will apply more force here i think that's it there see here the striker always goes at that end where the hole is there the striker went inside that hole similarly if we hit at any of the point here the striker will always go in that direction you will see like this the striker always goes in the direct direction so this model here is pretty fun for children to play with and explain the properties of ellipse thank you